Hi guys, welcome back to Fusion Fat Loss and Nutrition and once again you've got Craig. And as a nutritionist and exercise scientist, personal trainer, life coach, it's uh, imperative that I have solutions to my clients' problems. And one of the fundamental principles I look at is what eating regime, lifestyle management program is going to work best for them, of course, in collaboration with these individuals. I don't want them to come in and throw something at me and go, Craig, I want to do this. And I'll ask why. Well, my friend's done it or my trainer has said that I need to do it. The things I need to sit down and discuss first with them is this. Have you got unique flexibility and diversity in your program? Are you not pigeonholed? And is what we're going to be undertaking in collaboration and mentorship uh, going to be able to allow you three optimal things to avoid? And they are this. Uh, you're always going to be hungry and hangry to the point that the eating regime you're following has no unique sensitivity to yourself in that what you're doing is just following rules. You're not learning and being educated to allow you to take control and to manipulate and manage and get diversity and flexibility that allows you to sustain uh, that the hunger avoidance and hangry avoidance that allows you to get through the program as a lifestyle for good. Not with a start date, not with a finish date. So if you're always hungry and to the point of that angry and starving yourself, it's definitely not right for you, is it? The other factor we need to look at is energy levels. Is the eating regime that we're going to be following going to allow you optimal energy to one, pump out training sessions that are optimal level? If you're that underdone with fuel and energy that your performance is suboptimal, what's the point? You're not going to be in a position to continually overload and progress. You're not going to get stronger. You're not going to be able to do more sets, more reps. Your metabolic efficiency will get to a ceiling and you're not going to go anywhere. That means we're not going forward, guys. We're going backwards. And remember, staying the same means going backwards. So we don't want that. You've got to be in a position that your energy levels are optimal, that you get through your day with vigor, yeah, social interactions are vigorous and uh, full of um, effervescence. And your family life and work life are optimal. They are bliss. So if your food's not allowing you to do that, we need to get a little more individual flexibility, don't we? You know, because otherwise all you're doing is pigeonholing once again. And one of the big ones, and it's always talked about in clinical practice, is those cravings. You know, so again, if the eating regime and lifestyle management program that you're following, you are still consistently craving, you walk past a donut shop and you feel like you're gonna break the window to get in. If you go past a, a bread shop and you smell that aroma of freshly cooked bread and you're ready to scour the bench and actually get in there and do the Harold Holt and run for your life after stealing a loaf of sourdough bread, it's not the right eating regime for you. If your blood glucose levels aren't controlled, well, then we're in strife, aren't we? Because it's only a matter of time till you break. And we know when people break on eating regimes or diets that they crash big time. So the fundamental principles are this, that my role is to work with you so that we can sit down together as a unit and go, what foods do you like? What foods work for you? What foods have you had before in the past that don't? I've had people tell me every time they have coconut oil, they feel crook. So guess what? Whether coconut oil is the greatest thing since sliced bread, it means that this individual doesn't respond well to it. What about others? It could say brown rice, chia seeds, and quinoa are something that work wonderful for someone, but they don't work for the next person. So how is it optimal on my end to be telling them it doesn't matter, you've got to do it? And is giving them a blueprint. It does not work. So the key to understanding what is the best eating regime for you to follow is this. Are you going to be hungry and hangry? Well, it's not. Are your energy levels going to be suboptimal? Well, it's not. And are you going to be craving and fanging for stuff? Well, it's not. Is it a blueprint and something that you're told to follow? It's not right for you. So as the great Bruce Lee has said, this Absorb what is useful, discard what is not, and add what is unique to you. It's as simple as that. The best diet must avoid, heck, hunger and hunger, deficient energy levels, and cravings that are consistent. It's pretty simple, hey? And that's why it's my job to work with you to uh, manufacture, in collaboration with you, something unique to you.